Hare Krishna. Once again, very, very important message. This one is for Mayor de Blasio. Peace and blessings. Uh, there's something about you I like. I can't quite put my finger on it, but you seem to be a man who's highly capable of accepting and at least considering proposals of a decent nature. And I have a proposal for you. I haven't done all my research on this subject, but from what I understand, farm animals are banned in the five boroughs of New York City. And that's fine because there's a lot of issues. I don't know what the issues are. It might have to do with disease, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm hoping that this is not a financial situation uh, where lobbyists don't want farm animals or competition. I don't know. But this is very important because there was a man who came to New York City in 1965 named Srila Prabhupada 50 years ago. And he foresaw a lot of the problems that are plaguing society today. And one important thing he mentioned was that as this age progresses, the problem, the financial problems would be so acute, the poverty would be so acute that men would start abandoning their families and moving to the forest to grow their own food. Well, as you know, Mr. Mayor, uh, green is real big right now. Urban renewal is real big. You're going to need a way to support this infrastructure, this growing population, particularly the wealthy class that are about to take over New York City. And my proposal is, if you'll simply lift the ban on at least cows in New York City, we can have a wave of prosperity. I mean, this level, I can take this science of the cow to many levels and to many different civilizations. But what's important for today's world is that people eat. You know that there's a particular burden on the welfare system right now and the food stamp. And people are generally trying to grow their own foods. And there's a lot of politics behind that, dealing with Monsanto and heirloom seeds. But let's just look at it on a local level. If we at least allow cows within the borders of New York City, first of all, cow manure is extremely fertile. It will make infertile soil very fertile in a short time. Cow manure is actually beneficial for the environment. First of all, before it touches the ground, it's pure of all impurities. No bacteria, no viruses, no pathogens. Cow poop. And I'm not just talking bull crap either. Like, this is a scientifically verified fact that cow poop is actually beneficial before it touches the ground. But once it touches the ground, it's beneficial for the ground itself. So we can have a farming urban revolution right here in New York City because rich people are not going to want to eat crap. They want to eat pure foods. They want to eat organic stuff. We should have much more local farms in New York City. We can employ these unemployed men and women. We can have them growing their own food that will reduce the burden on the city and free up funding for other important projects of which I know you're interested in. So let's consider and let's not consider Let's lift the ban. This little Hare Krishna movement, these simple people running around your city with drums, chanting these ancient Vedic hymns, there's more to them than meets the eye. I'm, I'm particularly keen on observing different groups, and these people have something, and Prabhupada had the keys for economic prosperity. I mean, I'm not going to go into detail right now, but let's, let's just say that people can live much better in New York City. You can prepare for the wealthy class. The, uh, we need to set up some green infrastructure in this city. And if you'll allow the Hare Krishna movement to just get some farms, some land, there's so many empty lots. I mean, look at the Rockaways. We can turn the Rockaway soils into viable farmlands just by having a few cows, protected cows. These are not for the slaughter industry. We're not, we're not sacrificing our cows for people's uh, taste buds. That's not what this is about. We're about renewing the environment, making New York City a healthier environment. Of course, you know that where there's more greenery in the city, there's also higher levels of a substance called argon. Let's just say that argon is composed of negative ions, and let's just say that negative ions are good for human health. So the more plants you have in the area, the more healthy people will be. Actually, this will actually affect community relationships between the police as well because where there's a healthier environment the people are more prone to respect themselves 
and the police are more prone to respect the people. So let's just consider that the proposal I'm, I'm, I'm bringing to you is of, of a long-reaching nature, way beyond your tenure as mayor of New York City, but your legacy. Man, you'll have a legacy. You could be the president off of this. If you just green up New York City, we could have so many rooftop farms. We could, we could have multi-level farming in buildings. Let's just do it. Let's, what are we waiting for? You're going to have grandkids one day. What are they going to eat after you're out of the office? I know you're not just thinking for four or eight years. You, people like you are thinking 50 years and 100 years down the line. Climate's about to change. Let's get some food programs here. See, you see, the Hare Krishna movement, we like to distribute food to all people. We're not philanthropists. We're not material philanthropists. We want everyone to, yes, eat physically healthy, but there's also a spiritual aspect to our food distribution, which benefits both the rich and the poor. So we'd prefer if we were allowed to grow food in the city, and with the food comes the bees. You gotta have bees wherever you're gonna have flowers and fruit. So we have to protect these bees. There's so many misconceptions about bees, but we need the bees if we're gonna eat. Listen, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a few years down the line. I'm not even thinking for today. I'm thinking about what happens when my son has children. What are they gonna eat? Not everybody is cut out for the forest life, not everybody wants to move upstate and live in the hills and grow their own food. We can revolutionize New York, revolution, yeah, revolutionize, you know, I'm not a good talker. We could revolutionize this city right here. We need a green revolution. I want you, Mr. de Blasio, to be at the forefront of that wave because I see that you have good qualities that are ready to be cultivated at a higher level. Strongly consider my proposal if you need more information, there's so many ISKCON cow protection programs. You could contact uh, also, there's a man named Carl Carrard. And he's also interested in um, bringing some healthier alternatives as far as food. And there's, of course, you might have heard of, uh, I think his name is Ron Finley out in California. He has an amazing idea where he's using up unused city land to grow food for the people. And of course, there's always financials to be considered. And there's money for everybody because he said that growing your own food is like printing your own money. So let's continue to make New York City a forefront city, a trailblazing city. Let's set the precedent for the next generation for hundreds and maybe even thousands of years. I mean, so many people, there was a guy named Nebuchadnezzar in the Bible, right? And so many people didn't like him because he was on the opposite side of the philosophy of the children of God, according to the biblical story. But one thing he did do that was good for the environment, he had something called hanging gardens, and they were considered to be wonders of the ancient world. So let's get these gardens, let's get this garden vibration going on for New York City. Let's revolutionize the economy. It can be done, but I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need you to put some pressure on the city council. Let's change some codes. We need farms in all five boroughs. And the Hare Krishna movement is more than willing to manage them free of charge. This is not a financial endeavor for us. This is a spiritual endeavor. Consider my proposal. I'm not hard to contact. Hare Krishna.